Hey guys, the Bloon here, and today's another BTD6 video. And today's gonna be Odyssey Mode Extreme. No monkey knowledge. So we're gonna have to try to move a little quick here because unfortunately I can't use the same exact tower progression and same exact stuff for every single map because this one's a little bit tricky because now that it's extreme, you can only use that tower once on that map and then you're done with it. So what we're going to do here is we're gonna take a Quincy because I'm pre-thinking that 76, round 78 kind of stuff and he can knock that stuff out in an early game, he'll be great. We got four subs, five darts, five alchemists, three, two, two of three planes and then three helis. And my thinking on that was that I'm gonna use two of the maps, I'm gonna use the plane for main power fighter, and then three of the maps, I'm gonna use the helicopter for main power fighter. And then we're gonna use a dart every single round and an alchemist every single round, and then the subs, the last four rounds. So I'm gonna skip ahead a lot, but what I'm gonna do is just make sure I put every single progression in this. So if you guys are getting a little confused, just kind of slow it down or pause it, cause then you'll have all of the progressions right there, cause I'm going to include all of them. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a Quincy right here, and then we're going to get a, what are we gonna get? A dart monkey, yeah, don't get a sub on this map, guys. You could actually probably just last with the sub or with um, Quincy and the dart for a while, but what we're going to do is we're gonna get Quincy, a dart, and then Alchemist for those leads, and then we're going to get, uh, for this one, should we do helicopter or plane? Let's do the plane on this one. I'm trying to think of which maps I want the plane on. I think we're gonna put the plane on firing range, and then I don't remember the next one, but the next one sounds like a good one too. And then, so these guys are gonna be our main camo, obviously. And kind of, this one was actually a little difficult at first with no monkey knowledge, guys, I'm not gonna lie. So that firing range is a little difficult and the bizarre was super difficult, but I think I figured it out to the point where it's gonna be super simple. It's just because of no monkey knowledge, we're gonna have to do some dumb things that we wouldn't normally wanna do. Like on bizarre, I'm gonna have to sell to buy and then sell to buy again for another tower because I was rocking this with actually farms instead of the subs, but that wasn't really working too well. So. Tried it this way with the subs instead, and of course they made a huge difference on firing range because the subs are just overpowered monsters and great at what they do. So now we're going to get the crossbow and then we're going to get an alchemist up to a 300. So we have our 023 dart monkey and our alchemist is a 300. Now we're gonna get this guy to the 2160 for those sharpshooters. And I probably should have packed more lead popping power because to be honest with you, the early game on Bazaar or the mid game, I guess would be around the 30s is probably the hardest because I didn't realize about the lead. And what happened was this guy wasn't, you know, giving them lead popping powers the whole duration. And then the slew of lead balloons came out and I kind of had a problem. So we're gonna have to do something a little different to figure that out. But it worked last time. I just used the helicopter and luckily the helicopter had his little alchemist juice on him. So then he was able to pop the leads before they got to everybody. But we'll get there when we get there. I'm just kind of talking ahead of what I had to deal with and hopefully we can overcome it and achieve this crazy thing early on because I just started doing this about an hour ago, guys. It is currently nine o'clock in the morning for me on Thursday. So this thing just popped out for me and I just kind of went into challenge editor real quick and made sure I can knock out those harder rounds and able to figure some stuff out. So. Let's go for it. Now what we're going to do now that we're 10 levels away from round 40 is we're going to get our helicopter or plane. I mix up those words all the time. I don't know why, but we're going to get our plane. We'll put him in range of the Alchemist too, just because Alchemist is going to be a 402 eventually. So that'll kind of help. But what we're going to do is we're going to go sharper darts, center path, but we'll put him, you know, center path really doesn't matter. It's, it's four circles, guys. Four circles is pretty easy stuff. It really doesn't matter what we do, but we're going to get never miss targeting and then we're going to get the 400 alchemist. So now I wanna get stronger stimulant for this 400 alchemist. We'll get acid pool, we'll get faster throwing so we can help all three of these guys now. And then we'll get exploding pineapples and spy plane so this guy can help out with that camo popping. And from there, guys, we're pretty much good to go. Um, I might use an ability on round 40 here. Let's see if we need to. And then we're going to get a crossbow master. And then from there, we're pretty much done. But then we'll just get the specter as well because we can. It'll help out. So let's use that first ability just to make this a little easier. This guy's going to tear up most of it. He's pretty awesome. So now what we're going to do is shoot straight for the crossbow master. And I think we'll be okay. The first time I did this was with a farm, but I don't think we're going to have any problems. Like I said, it's four circles. So let's jump back ahead when we have the crossbow master. So let's grab that crossbow master. And as you guys probably noticed, you were able to get the specter a little quicker if you wanted to go for that. I just go for crossbow master because I can trust him. There's no randomness with him. He's always going to perform and he's always going to wreck it all the way through to the end of this game. The specter, on the other hand, could totally just decide to throw the whole match and then shoot his little stream of darts the wrong way. And you guys know how I love my consistency, so the Crossbow Master is my go-to guy. So 
For this one, now all we have to do is to save up for that Spectre, but even then, guys, we're pretty much done here because the Crossbow Master is elite and awesome and covers pretty much all four of these circles. But anyways, we're going to skip ahead to the Spectre and see how far we can take this. So now that we have the Spectre, guys, we are done. And you probably could have gotten the Spectre first. I forgot that he does hold everything at the top of the map, which would have sped this up a little bit, but not much to make a big difference. So Crossbow Master is still elite and good to go. So now that we are done here, do not place any other towers because on extreme mode, if I didn't say it in the beginning, guys, you only get these one time. So you will notice on the next round, we will see one less dart monkey. So it'll only say four. What you see here is what we will have in the next round. These guys are gone. Even if you try to sell them last second, like I did trying to be clever, it doesn't help guys. It just leaves it there. And I don't know if you can turn off extreme mode. I couldn't find a way to do it. So it looks like it's just like stuck like that, right? Or am I wrong? Either way, we're doing extreme mode and we're going to knock this thing out with no problem. So I'm I'm just actually going to skip ahead to the next match because this is done for you don't have to use any abilities nothing like that we have a crossbow and a specter on regular round 80 on four circles so we are good to go but alert do not place any other towers these four are your only four for this map so this next one is logs and you guys should all be experts on logs by now i've posted like a bajillion chimps videos with only two towers with just one tower doing all the damage and all that good stuff so you guys should be just fine here but what we're going to do is the same exact thing as last time except for we're not using the specter we're going to use the apache this time and the reason why is because i want to use my specter for what's that other one called for firing range and then the apache is good for these kind of tracks because it follows one path kind of thing so we're going to do this we're going to get our dart monkey up to a crossbow and the middle pass, so a zero, two, three. And then we're gonna get our alchemist to a three, zero, zero. So a zero, two, three dart monkey and then a three, zero, zero alchemist. So now that we have the dart monkey to a zero, two, three and then the alchemist to a three, zero, zero. The next thing we're going to do guys is we're going to get this guy to a fourth here. So sharpshooter, oh, there we go. And then we're going to get this guy to a four, zero, two. So we're gonna get the stronger stimulant, acid pool and then faster throwing. And then we're going to take a heli pilot and we're going to place him right above right here so we can be in range of the alchemist too because alchemists can help out in the beginning rounds and middle rounds and make this a little faster and easier for us. So we have our heli placed and we're going to go quad darts pursuit of course and then we have a 024 dart and we have a 402 alchemist and then our Quincy of course. We're going to go pursuit on this guy and then again we're going to go bigger jets and for the camo detection. And I say again, because we did that with the Spectre as well. So we're going to have to sacrifice some popping power because we're going to be going camo on all these guys because we don't have a village or a sub to put in the middle because we could technically use a sub here because I'm only going to use one for the future rounds, but I'm going to save one just in case because we don't really need to use it here. So now let's get this Razor Rotors. And instead of going for the crossbow first, I'm going to go for the heli first because I think that it will be a little faster. I could be wrong, but what I'm thinking is that once he's Apache, because the crossbow could slip up and not pop everything, and then we're waiting for it to go all the way around the track. So it might be faster for the Apache. Either way, it doesn't matter. We're going to have the Apache and the crossbow. This might save us 25 seconds. Who knows? But I'm going to go for the Apache dart ship, and I'm not going to use any abilities in the meantime, and then I'm going to go for that crossbow master. Now that we got the Apache, we should be rocking and rolling, and this thing should speed up a little bit. And hopefully, he won't be chasing around the entire map so we can jump on that next one, because we still got three maps left after this guys and firing range is going to be pretty easy not too bad but bizarre guys i'm a little worried about bizarre it should have been placed after spice islands i think but we're going to knock it out we're going to have hopefully no problems and show you guys how to knock this out with no monkey knowledge and so because i got a comment today asking about this with no power or no was it no powers or just low level oh low level okay so the only thing i do require of you guys is to have your towers unlocked so you got to have your fifth tier crossbow obviously you got to have your apaches unlocked and all the good stuff unlocked but as far as monkey knowledge none of that no powers nothing like that so let's jump up to this crossbow master and finish off logs and then we'll get on to firing range take back what i said i think the crossbow would have been a lot faster this apache is just struggling on these moabs and he's taking way too long to pop them it's still not bad we're not going to lose lives or anything but as far as speed goes crossbow is way more cooler so we're going to get him now and things are just going to ramp up and now guys you don't need any abilities nothing like that you can use abilities to speed things up like 76 78 stuff like that because quincy's a boss for that kind of stuff but we're going to go all the way to 90 with this oh it's to 90 oh my gosh i did not I did not check for that. All right, we're gonna be just fine. It's not gonna have any problems, but I did not know we're gonna wait that long. Logs takes forever, guys. So I'm gonna skip back ahead when we're like 85-ish around there, and this is gonna rock it all the way. And then we'll most likely have enough for an Apache Prime, but if not, we'll just sell the crossbow or sell one of these guys to get that Apache Prime so we can take out like 85 and 90 with no problems. 
Logs to 90 is just kind of mean. That takes forever waiting for all this stuff. So now that we got our Apache Prime, we are good to go. And unfortunately, I thought that the Apache would be, the regular Apache would be better, but the crossbow, I mean, given he is a fifth tier, but look at man, he just caught up and just like wrecked the Apache. And this guy, well, I think he'll catch up now, but yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. But either way, guys, what we're going to do now is we're just going to skip ahead because I can guarantee you victory at this point. No abilities, nothing like that. Even those ZDTs on 90 aren't going to stand a chance to a crossbow and an Apache Prime. So we're going to jump ahead to firing range. So we're going to start this one a little different. We're going to place a sub right here and then we're going to place a dart monkey right here. And because this is alternate balloon rounds, we're going to have to worry about camos and leads early on and then just bloom popping power. So we're probably not going to get our Quincy till way later on because I just want to make sure that we're safe. And by doing that, it's going to cost some money. We're going to have to buy and sell stuff because no monkey knowledge, guys, really is gets a little crazy sometimes. I don't know if you guys knew that, but it does. And I didn't think it would because I tested this a little bit out before I got in here. And I was like, oh, if I can make it to 40, I'm good to go. And I'm like, oh, but what after 40? Because we got all these fortifieds popping out all the time. What are we going to do about this? So with that said, we got this guy to enhanced eyesight for those camos. Now we're going to go there. We're going to get twin guns for this guy so we can just handle just general balloon popping. And then we're gonna get an alchemist for our leads. And then from there we got our basis and then we just kind of upgrade in a certain way just to make sure we're strong enough to go. And then it gets crazy guys. So we got our sub to twin guns. We got our alchemist over here. We placed him on strong. We haven't touched this guy just yet. And then for this one, we're going to go to longer range and then advanced intel so he can help pop those camos as well. And as you can see, leads are going to be an issue just because even with acidic mixture dip, this guy can only hit them when he's in range and that's every so often. So it's going to get a little crazy here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with the ultra jug instead of the crossbow master, which is a little crazy on its own guys, but I think it'll actually pay off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get larger potions, acidic mixture dip to help pop those leads for now. And then we're gonna get this guy up to a 302. So I got this guy to a 302. We got our alchemist to a 200 to pop those leads. And now we're gonna get airburst starts on this guy. And now we should probably think about getting Quincy. So I'm going to remove this guy and grab Quincy. And then I think from there, we'll probably get this guy to armor piercing darts because then that's going to, we need to pop that fortified Moab on level 40 guys. So it's not gonna be easy task today. We're gonna to have to do a little bit of work here to get this one done with no monkey knowledge. But then after this, it should be easy. Although bizarre is probably hard too, but we'll get all that done. Let's just move one step at a time. So I went with the juggernaut before I'm gonna upgrade this guy. And the reason why is because those leads, like I said, were getting a little bit nerve wracking. And with the acidic mixture dip, he's the only guy, this guy right here is the only one that can pop camo lead. So it was a little, little scary. So to make sure we can guarantee our safety, I got the juggernaut. So now he can pop any type of lead without having to worry about this guy's buff or whatever. So I think we're good there. Now with this one, I want those armor piercing darts because it's awesome. Uh, we're going to have Moabs flying through the roof here in a minute, so we need to make sure we're safe and good to go. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get armor piercing darts and then probably the plane and get going on that guy so we can help pop that Moab on round 40. So just to recap and let's turn off auto start, we have a Juggernaut at 402, we have a 200 Alchemist, a Sub at 204, and now we have a Never Miss targeting plane. And we should be more than good enough for round 40, hopefully, but we do have Quincy's ability, so we'll use that as well. As soon as he's in range, let's grab that first ability. Hopefully, we'll pop it. And then Juggernaut's there to clean up. And then we got our little sub over there to clean up everything else. So we are good to go there. Now, what we're going to do now, guys, is a couple different things. So we're actually going to go with Rapid Fire and loads more darts because we are going to sell this guy before he becomes a Spectre. For the Spectre, we're going to want camo to make sure we're good to go. But for now, we just want to pop some more blooms. And these guys have the camo game on lock right now, so I think we're good to go. Now, what I do want to do, though, is I want to get this guy to Berserker Brew and Stronger Stimulant because I do think that's going to help. But round 50 is kind of what I'm scared about, so we're going to have to, like, worry about that once it comes but as long as we can pop these balloons now these moabs i think we're okay we got our stronger stimulant we're good to go there um i think we're good to go so i'm going to pop back in around 50 and see if what we got to do from there for 50 we are going to have to use an ability here just because i know 50 is going to get a little crazy so what we're going to do as soon as it's in range just hit that first one just like last time and then hopefully you can pop both of them there we go that one's good and then we just got to pop this guy could have probably moved quincy to strong but as long as we get it popped here we're good to go Pop it, pop it, pop it. Okay, there we go. Now the Juggernaut should clean up everything else. And then we got the loads more darts. Okay, good stuff there. So now this next round is full of camos and we really can't handle it too much. So what we're going to do is we are going to sell this guy and we're going to buy this guy. And I know that's a little crazy, but it's going to help. So what we're going to do is now get this guy back. We're just buying and selling, buying and selling guys, but it does help. So trust me there. 
Now let's hit 51. We might have to use an ability, so I'm gonna watch it with you guys and then we'll kind of take it. And then eventually we're gonna have to sell this guy to get this guy for around 60 and stuff because it is going to get crazy, guys. This is a hard map with only 50 lives and no monkey knowledge, and only a few towers, but we're gonna make it happen. Hopefully it'll be clean enough for you guys to understand and make it cool. And can we take out that fortified? Yes, we can, because we're awesome. And we got our plane back. We got our juggernaut, ultra juggernaut, duh, we're good to go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna save up until round 60 or so. So as you could have guessed, round 60 is gonna be a little tough for us because our fortified power is lacking. So what we're going to do here is we're just gonna use Quincy's ability when he's in range which is right now, this is the first ability, and we should be able to handle it with just the first ability. If not, we do have the second one for backup, but like I said, we should be able to handle it, and we did just fine. I think we can handle 61, let's give it a try. So 61 was no problem, and if you guys are wondering why I'm kind of skipping through these edits like this is because I just wanna give you guys the best strategy possible. So I don't wanna show me losing and mess it up for you guys. So if I'm cutting, it's because I'm not sure if that round, so I wanna make sure we're doing the best and cleanest way possible to beat it, and you guys can just kind of take it from there. I know that 62 is gonna cause us a lot of problems, so what we're gonna have to do here, unfortunately, is sell this guy and sell this guy so we can buy the Spectre here. Now we're gonna get Exploding Pineapple and Spy Plane. If you don't have enough for Spy Plane just yet, it really doesn't matter, it's only 62, and there's not that many camos, if any at all, and we are good to go. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna rebuy the sub. So we're gonna have to do a lot of buying and back and forth, especially on Bazaar as well, but that's just what it takes when you're doing these like crazy things with no monkey knowledge, with on extreme mode with no <sighs> monkey knowledge and Lack of towers and guys, I don't even know, I'm just all flushed here, but we're going extreme and us extreme players got to do extreme things. So now what we're going to do is get this guy right back up to being a airburst dart, triple gun and armor piercing dart. But then we're going to throw the sub on this guy instead of this one because he's over there doing his own thing. He don't really need the extra help. And this guy kind of will be a lot better with that alchemist, I believe. So I'm going to skip ahead to when I have this guy to a 204 and then the alchemist on him at a 400 and then from there we should be good to go so now we have our alchemist to a 400 and this guy to a 204 and pretty much our hands are tied at this point we can't place any more towers all we can do is buy and sell what we have we're not going to get enough money naturally to like buy the sub commander or sell this guy and buy a crossbow i don't think because the crossbow to the math is like 30,600 or something like that and this guy only gives us 13,000. so Worst case scenario, we get to the end and we can't handle round 80. What we'll do is we'll probably sell this guy and we could even rebuy him with quick shots because we won't need the camo anymore and quick shots is going to be better than this enhanced eyesight for this guy at least. Or maybe we can even sell a lot of stuff and get the sub commander or sell everything and get this guy. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll get there when we get there. For now, we're just going to keep rocking it because we're doing really well and I think this guy is actually helping a lot. So. Let's skip ahead to when we need to do something. So this guy might be able to hang, but I really don't want to take any chances if we don't have to. So what I'm thinking here, guys, what I'm thinking is what we can do is sell this guy. Well, we're not quite there yet, huh? Well, I have two ideas in my mind. One is to get rid of this guy because you know he's not doing as much as he should be and the crossbow master is way better. But then I'm like, he, he earned his keep today. He's doing pretty well. So then I'm thinking we can actually get the sub commander and then we're guaranteed to win but we can't pop leads if we sell this guy. But let's just take it safe. We'll sell this guy right now because we have more than enough money. We'll buy the sub commander and then we can even buy this guy back and get some acidic mixture dip to pop those leads. Oh, we can even go berserker brew. Okay, I don't know why I did that, didn't think of that in the beginning. That's a way better idea. We have a sub commander now, a freaking ultra juggernaut and a plane. We are good to go, guys. We have no problems beating this. I don't know if the alchemist buff actually does too much because this guy shoots like a beast now, but oh well. We're good to go. Look at this guy, super simple stuff. We didn't even use Quincy's abilities in those late rounds. So this is actually not as bad as I thought it would be. We wrecked it. So now it's just bizarre, but we have our full lives and then Spice Island should be a breeze, should be in quotations. But let's jump into the next one, which is bizarre. Not gonna lie, I'm a little scared of this one, guys. I have still not beaten this on chimps yet and I'm still struggling on this map because it just straight up scares me to be honest. So what we're going to do here is try to not scare me as much as possible and we're going to get an advanced intel if possible. And part of me feels like it was meant to be because look at that, now we have zero dollars. It's like a challenge. One of those challenges where you know you got the right challenge order because the money's at zero and it's perfect. That's what we're doing here. So what we're going to do is, I was like ready to get camo and lead already because of alternate blue rounds, but we don't even have to. This is gonna be a lot easier. But what we're going to do is we're gonna set up our dart monkey that's going to be either an ultra jug or a crossbow master right here. 
And then so this guy will have more range and hopefully you'll be good to go. And then we'll alchemist this guy on this side because I don't think Quincy really needs it that much. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get, hmm, let's think here, let's think. I think I'm gonna get air burst darts just to keep us safe and then I'll start upgrading our dart monkey. All right, so what I've done now guys is the first thing I did was I placed, after I got air burst darts, I placed my dart monkey and I got him to enhanced eyesight. That gives the sub more range and the camo detection, which is what we need. And then I got this guy up to triple guns and then I got this guy to acidic mixture dip so he can help pop those leads, knock this stuff out. Let's put him on strong just in case something crazy happens. Cause look at now Quincy's unusable at this point unless this guy actually makes him buff him. but. The safety mechanism is that he can pop the leads and then he can clean up afterwards. So we're good to go there. Um, now what I want to do is I want to get to armor piercing darts because then I know that's what we're going to need for like, let's say around 36 and stuff. We just got to make sure we can make it through these leads. As long as this guy pops them, we're good. But like I said, last worst case scenario, this guy pops them and then we clean them up over on this side. So it's still not a big deal. Um, we might have to use Quincy's ability. Maybe we can't handle it all the way up to armor piercing darts. Maybe we should get the berserker brew first. Yeah, let's get this ability and then we'll Berserker Brew. You don't have to use the ability if you already bought Berserker Brew beforehand, which you guys are doing because now you're listening to my retrospect ideas. And now we're going to get Armor Piercing Darts and clean this thing up. So I'm gonna skip ahead to when I get the Armor Piercing. So we're gonna grab Armor Piercing right now. And I am noticing a little bit of a problem. The range of this guy is just out of range of him. See, he can only see like a tiny little bit of what the Dart Monkey sees. So we're gonna have to get to that crossbow but the problem I'm having is I'm not exactly sure and I don't want to buy and sell if I don't need to. I'm not sure if we're going to go crossbow first or we're going to go that ultra jug because that ultra jug is actually pretty legit. But uh, let's just do this one to give him a little bit more popping power for now. And if we're going to do that, we might as well just go quick shots and very quick shots. I just wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do, but we're going to be fine for around 40 either way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this guy to 2700 for that stronger stimulant. Um, actually... I'm still worried about leads, you guys. Leads are still freaking me out. I don't like them and they mess me up if everything doesn't work out exactly how you want it to. Like right now, the Alchemist is helping the sub pop them all, which is great. But you guys know a lot of the times he doesn't do that. So, oh well, we'll make it work. The next thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to place a helicopter and I'm going to place it right here to give the sub a little bit more range in that corner as well, because I know that's going to be some problems soon on out. And luckily this guy sees there, so we're good there. So we're going to go right here to where you can see like a lot of this track, which is cool stuff. Uh, let's use the ability as soon as Quincy does because we're on level 40 and that will help pop that and then whatever's underneath the sub's gonna kill it yeah an alchemist sub is is killing it guys okay so now we can get quad darts and pursuit we don't have to worry about him anymore and we can do bigger jets and camo detection as well so we can help out a little bit there now we're pretty much good now what we have to do is just worry about like level 50 but it's not gonna be any crazy fortified or nothing so we're pretty much good to go now basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna save up money because i'm not exactly sure if i'm gonna go crossbow first or probably apache it just kind of depends on the money so let's get our razor rotors to guarantee that and now what i'm going to do like i said just save up and see where it takes us so hopefully you guys bought the apache as soon as it became available and now we're good to go the next thing we're going to have a problem with is going to be probably round 63 so in the meantime we have every tower that we can have down i think i bought sharpshooters as well so make sure all of your towers are where they need to be so you have this guy to a 204 you have this guy to a 400 because you don't really need acid pool and acidic mixture dip and then we're gonna go for this guy 024 because he will be a crossbow master. And then we have our Quincy over here. And then of course your Apache with the camo. So make sure you have all that. And you got him probably before 54 because 54 would be a little tough without it. So now, like I said, next thing is gonna be 63. So let's see where we're at with that one. So 63 is gonna be a little scary, but with your guys' monkey knowledge and mana shield and stuff, I don't see it being an issue. We just gotta hope that the helicopter does his job. And then after the first round, we can use our abilities to get through the second and third rounds. And it looks like it's scary every time, but it's really not that big of a deal. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Quincy's first ability for this next wave right here. So we'll get that charge and ready to go. And there you go, we'll clean up that with no problems. There we go. And then for this third one, guys, we'll just use that second ability right when it pops out and don't even worry about it. There you go. So that one is done. And if you guys did lose a couple lives here or there, it doesn't really matter. You guys got your mana shield, so you're good to go there. Our next thing we're going to do is get the crossbow master. But while I was sitting here pondering in my brain while I was sitting, I'm thinking this isn't the best spot because if he's placed here, he can't really shoot. I mean, I think I'll end up keeping him anyway. But the problem I'm having is that like when the Moabs are around here, he can't even attack them until their, their nose comes out here. So if we had him like here, 
he'd be able to actually attack more, but then it wouldn't be a straight line like it is now. So let's just leave him, let's leave him. I'm just being crazy. So I'm gonna skip ahead to when I have enough for the crossbow master and then use your abilities if you need to, but I will come back and tell you if we need to. So we have enough for the crossbow master now. Let's buy him and get him going. And then I'll show you right here what I was talking about. So he can't really do anything until they're already around this corner. And by that point, he only has a couple feet of room before he can actually start popping blooms. So not exactly sure. Would it be feet or inches? Are these monkeys in reality? Are they like really small monkeys or are they like normal sized monkeys to where that'd be a couple feet, not a couple inches? I don't actually know. And then I don't know if it's worth noting. Oh, I actually didn't upgrade. I thought I upgraded like stronger acid and stuff, but because it's a little potion coming out the back of him. Oh, well, we're good. We're still in the four zero zero. We beat 63. We beat 70. We got this guy going. So now what we're going to do is on 76 and 78, we're going to use abilities just because I don't trust it. And I know this Apache isn't that great at 76, just from what I've learned on doing logs with like two towers, chimps and stuff. So we'll use Quincy's abilities for both of those to make sure we don't have any problems. So here comes 76. And like I said, we're just gonna use Quincy's second ability as soon as we see it, because we don't want to deal with any of this. We don't want to have any regrow farms or anything going crazy. And we're gonna do the same exact thing for 78 as well, because we don't want to have any issues there. Now, after that, guys, it's a little uncharted territory. I know we can take down 80, no problem with what we got here, but can we take down 85? I don't know. And I don't remember on logs. What round do we get the, what do you call them? The Apache Prime? Because we should be able to get the same round on this one. But if it was like 86 or 87, which it probably was, I don't know what's going to happen. And I would say just like, let's do our second ability here so we don't mess that up. So right now, drop that second ability, make sure it's good. And I'm so glad they fixed that Quincy bug that was here a few months back when I was doing Infernal because that thing, like every time I press the second ability, my heart still like skips a beat because I'm like, please don't bug out, please don't bug out. And if you guys didn't know, he used to like not hit it sometimes, which was super scary. But I'm not exactly sure. I, I kind of want to like sell this guy and get the Apache Prime at the end. But then the problem with that is that like if he misses one balloon, he could totally ruin the whole thing. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of play it by ear as we go, but we're gonna use our second ability here again as soon as it's recharged so we can pop that one. Now we're good to go. 79 and 80, I'm pretty sure we can handle because we got the boss over here. We might have to use an ability on 80 though because I should have probably put Quincy over here and the crossbow over here to be honest because more good stuff comes out on this end and you can kind of clean up later here because like for instance round 80 it would be cool for him to start attacking this Moab like right off the bat, you know? So we'll. We'll see how it goes. I think we'll be okay, but we'll come back at round 80. So just to be on the safe side, what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna sell this guy and buy this guy. Why not? We have enough money for it. We don't really need the sub or the Apache Prime. This guy should be able to handle 85, no problem. So we'll get this guy and then whatever comes out should be able to be cleaned up pretty easy. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we're good to go there. Let's get this guy back up with his lead popping power. So we'll get the acidic mixture dip and we'll get the berserker. Might as well get the stronger stimulant, everything like that. Now, I mean, worst case scenario, if we need to, we can sell everything in Apache Prime for 85, but I think this should be more than enough to carry. Let's get faster throwing too. So next thing I'm going to do is kind of just skip ahead and watch in the background here and make sure we're good to go. If not, I will intervene and tell you guys what I did as well so you guys can knock this out easy. And I hope this is easy for you guys to follow along so far. I'm trying to do all these little edit magic movie moments so you guys can know exactly when to upgrade and what to do and not make the same mistakes I did. So let's see what we can do. So 84 was looking a little scary, but these guys are just like divide and conquering. They're popping these ones up front. They're getting down there and then this guy's tearing them up and he's like the bodyguard at the end. So it's actually working out pretty well. Now we just have two ZOMGs to take care of. I mean, we could technically sell both of these and get the Apache Prime and make this even easier, but I'm so tired of buying and selling stuff, guys. So we'll just leave this like this. And what we can do too is as soon as this guy pops, we'll drop this second ability and make it even easier. We would have been just fine, but just to make it a little bit more spicy. Now we're on to Spice Islands, of course, and this will be our last one. This one should be a walk in the park. Let's hope it is. I'm pretty excited here, guys. We have two subs left, so we're gonna do a little Bluntonium reactor and a regular sub, and then the Bluntonium reactor will make it so we can go with the cool path in the helicopter. I don't know why this one is last, but I'm excited it is maybe that's what it's for. It's like a breath of fresh air after doing firing range and bizarre. Now we get this easy one to have fun with. So I'm going to throw a sub right here. And my goal is to not lose any lives. We have enough to lose, but I just kind of now that we're made it this far, I want to go like no lives lost kind of thing. So I'm going to try to grab another sub right off the bat here. I'm going to put him over here just because he's going to have that advanced intel. And so I want him shooting across this whole track just to get real crazy because we can. Uh, let's put him like right here ish. That works. Weird spot, but who cares? We just gotta get past round four. Round four is gonna be the troublesome one because I don't wanna lose any lives, like I said. I wanna go with this whole thing clean as can be. So we can place a dart monkey down if we need to, but hopefully this guy can clean it up. 
Dang it, guys. Dang it. I'm not going to take that. We're not taking that. We've made it this far. We're not losing any lives. We're going to put that sub where he was. That's fine. I don't care. But what we're going to do here is we're going to place this guy. And for now, we're going to put him on strong. All right. That'll be cool. And that'll be our crossbow later on as well. Hopefully, he'll reach across the end. But again, like I said, you guys don't care. It doesn't matter. We're at the end. Come on. You got this. You got this. There you go. There you go. Let's put him on first now because that's we're going to forget. So we'll change him back to first. We're going to get 485 twin guns on this guy. It was just that round that we were worried about. And now we did it. We lost no lives, so we're good to go. Now we're going to grab our Quincy, and then I'm going to get this guy to an airburst starts. So since we made it this far, I'm going to try to take some risks here. I'm trying to go straight for the Bluntonium Reactor before 28. I don't think it's going to be possible. And I don't know, guys. Can we get $700 in two rounds? I think that'd be kind of cool because normally you got to get like Bluntonium Reactor like after 30 and stuff. But if we can do it, that will be fun because then we don't even have to worry about the leads and then we're pretty much good until 39 we could if we're on the race we could just skip ahead to 39 and this thing pretty quickly oh there we go look at that look at that i'm gonna turn on auto start Ooh, that's a sub turn on auto start and we are good to go guys i'm just happy right now we're done we're pretty much done this is gonna be easy street we can get this guy up to an advanced intel and then twin guns and then we'll throw our alchemist right here so we can buff both of these guys this is just easy street now. And then we can even get a sub commander now that we can see camo and pop all the leads that are coming out. So simple stuff here, so simple. So I'm gonna skip ahead to airburst darts and all the way up to armor piercing darts. So we got armor piercing darts on this sub right here. And then I actually decided to take away the dart monkey because I knew that throwing the potions on both of them would kind of waste on the dart monkey right now. And so we're just gonna go with this guy because he'll be fine enough to carry us soon. And then once we get crossbow master, he's good to go on his own. So we're, we're just doing fine guys. I'm not even gonna use an ability right now. I don't even care. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What a way to finish. We're going to finish this strong and easy. We're going to get the sub commander because this guy can detect all the camo leads and everything. So we don't have to worry about him popping leads. And then we can get the crossbow after. And we know the sub commander can carry like into the 80s almost. So he's good to go. So let's get this guy to stronger stimulant. And might as well just get acid pool and faster throwing just because we can. And now what we're going to do is just shoot for that sub commander and we will do it with no problems most likely. Now that we got the sub commander guys, it's pretty much game over. Let's go over all of our towers here though so you guys aren't left behind. We have a Quincy. We have a 402 sub. We have a just dart monkey sitting there. We got a 402 alchemist and then we have a sub commander. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this guy up to a crossbow. Um, we'll probably need him at the end to be honest with you because going past 80 is different and so we don't want to have any problems here and pretty much this guy is not going to do us any good once we get past those high rounds because right now the sub commander can destroy anything that walks in his path but once we start getting to those crazy bfbs and zomgs we're not going to pop them right here and then this guy's kind of useless we might even have to move him back in the end of the map or something so for now what we're going to do is we're going to save up for that crossbow and then we're going to get a helicopter later on if we need to. But first, I want that crossbow because he's awesome. And he should hit all the way across here. And those would be really cool stuff. So I'm going to skip ahead to that right now. Oh, and one thing I wanted to note, too, while we're kicking butt on round 63 right now. Watch this last rush right here. Boom, nothing. Um, if you guys got a little freaked out and used your sub on, let's say, like Bazaar or Firing Range, you used your extra sub and you don't have enough for the Bloom Tonium Reactor like we we're doing here, it's not the end of the world. This is still an easy map. It's easier than Bazaar. It's easier than Firing Range. So all you would have to do in that case is what we did before. So you're going to have to Alchemist your uh, Dart Monkey so he can pop those leads. And you can even Alchemist um, Quincy as well to pop those leads. And then you're still going to go for that sub commander if possible. Or in that case, you'd probably want to go with your helicopter first before sub commander so he can pop all those leads guaranteed. So that's only if you guys messed up and used your sub early on because you're a little scared or something. That's no big deal. Just go with the helicopter first, then get your sub commander, your crossbow, all that good stuff. And you guys should be good to go. But for everyone who followed along exactly as I did, you guys are killing it. You're having no problems. And we're going to sail through this last one and get that crossbow master. Not too happy about my crossbow placement. I thought he'd reach a little bit further, but he's not. But here's 76 guys. No problems, no abilities. I'm going to place this guy just because at this point, we got to have every tower out. We did it. We look it. They're all zeros. We did every single tower that was given to us. We made this thing work out pretty well. Extreme mode, not so extreme, but it actually was, guys. It took me a lot longer because, like I said, I had to edit in those right parts or I would go back home and kind of restart that round to make sure it was the best way for you guys. So these were not black border ones. These were just, but for you guys, they should be. You should have zero issues because hopefully I cut it together to where you guys are just seeing the good stuff only and knocking this out with no problems. And you saw my resolutions and not my conflicts and stuff like that. 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with this guy and then we're actually gonna go faster darts and faster firing. And the reason I'm doing that is because like I said, this guy is decamoing everything so we can actually make him stronger and more awesome, which will make the Apache dart ship more awesome if we even get to him. I don't know if we're gonna have 20,000, 21,000 by the time we get to 85. We should, because we're just racking up the money right now. But let's skip ahead and see. So we actually have way more than enough for this Apache dart ship and we're still doing fine. Probably didn't even need to get him, but I don't want to test it. And then guys, I have the craziest brain boost moment right here. I have the best name for my crossbow master. If you guys know why I have named my crossbow master Daryl, let me know below. I just thought of it. I saw this crossbow he's shooting. I'm like, that's perfect. That's perfect. Let me know below if you guys know what that is. Uh, we can't actually really even buy anything anymore. We're done, guys. We've used up all our towers. We can't buy anything. All we could do, I guess, is just level up Quincy for the heck of it. But we are done. That is the end of Odyssey, guys. We tore it up. Let's see what we got as our reward. All right, we got forward thinking. Is that what it's called? Forward thinking? There we go. Um, overall stats, time taken, 50 lives remaining, pop count 1,258,380, cash generated 455,000, 2,302 MOABs and 8 abilities used. That's pretty cool. You can start making some really cool challenges. And the time taken, guys, like I said, because I had to make sure these rounds were good enough for you guys. So that could definitely be cut down. And you guys, I want to know your times below, actually. That's actually very, um, I'm curious about it. So. Let me know by watching the strategy all the way through and going through it full speed mode, how fast you can do it. I think probably around an hour and 20 minutes would probably be about right. Now let's get our 200 monkey money, our 302 Insta, and our trophy for that new cool trophy store. Let's see what we got in the trophy store, guys. And then I actually have to go back. I didn't know if you guys knew this, but I have to go back because now we have all this stuff here. So I have to do 12 different odysseys. I have to do all three in one time. So I'm gonna go back and do the beginner and the medium, which will hopefully give me this one for beating it in under an hour. Where's that one at? Oh, right here. I hope that means I can do it on easy and get that as well. But let's check out this trophy store real quick. And what do we want to buy? I kind of like these little guys right here. I thought that was kind of cool. And hmm, I don't know though. I'll wait for you guys on stream. How about that? So next time we stream, we'll go through this trophy store together. But guys, I really hope you guys enjoy this. I hope it's not too long. If I had to guess, it's around 25 to like 30 minute video. But hopefully you guys had no problems. Hope I was able to piece it together to where you guys just sailed through it with no problems. Let me know the things I asked below. Hit that like button if you like what you're watching. Consider subscribing if you're new. And definitely give a follow on Twitch because that's where I'll be streaming this. And then hopefully tomorrow, guys, which will be Friday, I will have that Mesa chimps out or Mesa chimps out and we can knock that one out together. But guys, until next time, I'll see you next time.